and warm up our hearts because it's chilly outside. It's so cool. You know, I mean, it's normal for December, but right. compared to what we've, you know, experienced on average over the last couple of weeks, it's quite cold, even colder today than it was yesterday. Up at Winter Park, it's 11. We have cloudy skies, some light snow falling up that way. Some mountain areas will see upwards of four inches of snow. A few north facing slopes could even see six inches of accumulation. Down here in town, our temperature right now is just below freezing. We're 30 over at City Park. We have 33 here downtown at CBS 4. We benefit from the urban heat island, but regardless, it is chilly. At least we don't have much wind to deal with at this point. Greeley, you're actually one of the warmer spots around, and we don't say that very often. You're at 38. Sterling's at 37. It's 13 in Leadville, 31 in Salida. There's no escaping the cold anywhere in Colorado, and you factor in some of the wind, which isn't really that bad anywhere. It feels even worse. Silverthorne, 11. It feels like 13 degrees right now over Monument Hill. High temperatures here this afternoon will not be much higher than we are right now. We may climb a couple more degrees, but everybody's going to top out in the 30s around Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins. 30s out on the eastern plains. Had a little snow out in Burlington earlier. Some welcome moisture out that way. It's wrapped up now. On the western slope, we have 30s for highs today as well. Over the last several hours, we've been watching cloud cover move in from the north. This is exactly what we've been expecting. We've got the jet stream moving directly into Colorado from Wyoming. I'll turn on the wind arrows here. All these arrows indicate the direction the wind's coming from in the upper levels of the atmosphere. You can see that north flow coming straight into Colorado. A northerly flow usually does not mean much moisture, and that's the case today, and that's why we only have a slight chance for a little snow in Denver, and the areas that actually get snow just aren't going to see that much. Here's the future cast. Let's talk about where and when this snow is going to happen. Here's 1 p.m. There's that light snow falling across the northern and central mountains. I'm going to pause the clock here at 3 p.m. Similar situation for the high country. Again, up to 4 inches for a few mountain spots, maybe a little bit more on those north-facing slopes since that's the direction uh, the wind is uh, uh, coming from. And then down along the Palmer Divide, Douglas and Elbert counties, as we get into the end of the evening commute, we could see a little bit of a surge of snow from Castle Rock south over Monument Hill and down toward the Springs, maybe up to an inch in a, a small stretch of I-25. That's the only area I think there could even be measurable snowfall. For the rest of us, just a few snowflakes flying around here mid to late afternoon and then through the evening hours. And the farther north you are along the Front Range, the less the likelihood that you'll see even a single snowflake. Fort Collins, Loveland, and Greeley, you may not see anything. Then again, you could have a few flurries, but that would be the extent of it. Tomorrow, we start warming back up. 56, it'll be a little breezy tomorrow, and then a beautiful weekend ahead. We're on this streak now, a beautiful weekend. <laughs> it's going to be another one. Highs in the lower 60s and sunshine for the Broncos and Jets at Mile High Sunday afternoon. All right, we'll take it. All right. Thanks, Ashton.